what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and as you can see we have a lot of stuff on the table right here at the moment and this is all going towards the colorado project truck descendant yes i do have a pile of stuff in the back that i took out in the last video that we did and i will take that off soon but let's get back to this we have rotors we have brand new calipers we have wheel bearings wheel seals the djm drop spindles and brake pads we got the whole kit from rock auto and they're from power stop they're not a sponsor and neither is djm all this stuff was purchased on my own account so but we got all this stuff brand new because i'm going to be replacing everything on this truck brand new that i can and I did find out that DJM spindles on the S10 frame does work better. And yes, I'm using an S10 frame under the Colorado or just from the firewall up, actually, on the Colorado. And then I'm hand building everything else. But today we're just going to be focusing on the brake stuff. So if you would, stick with me and I'll get some more tools and make sure we do this stuff the right way. And we'll get right into it. Like I said, I bought all this stuff from Rock Auto. They are not a sponsor. These are national bearings. They do come with the races, but we do not need those. And I am going to lube up the inside these rotors really well and then I'm actually going to pack these bearings by hand so all I'm going to do is I'm just pushing them into the bearings until I can see the lube come out the top of it It doesn't take long for it to come through. That's why I'm wearing gloves too, so I don't get all this grease on me. Now I'm just going to coat this whole thing in grease. You know, even some dropper right down there. And we can repeat the process for the other rotor. Okay, so got this one in. Now we're going to put the wheel seal in right here. And it can only go in one way. If you look, it's recessed in here. And right there, it's just got the rolled piece, but it's like concaved inside. for the other one and I do recommend having several pairs of gloves because you're going to go through a bunch of them now I'm going to move up the spindle shaft kingpin whatever you want to call it just put a good bit on there try to waste as little as possible because grease is expensive right now. I should have done this before I slid this on, but it'd be alright. Alright. Where are they? 
Then we have these right here. Let me go grab a crescent wrench real quick and I'm gonna kind of do a little tiny preset on there and I'll do the final preset once the part is on the frame and all that stuff. But I just want to get it seated enough to where I can get it started, if you know what I mean. Feel too bad right there, and the pin will line up also. So we will stick with that. Then we have our dust covers right there. one rotor wheel bearing assembly on and I'm just going to repeat the process on this one and I don't want to bore y'all with showing y'all that again so whenever I get back I'll show you the calipers and the brake and the brake pads that we got okay so the calipers did come with new slide pins you get them out and let them hit the ground So here's the caliper. This is the left hand side. So here's the rotor. And spray it off with a little bit of brake clean. The reason we do that is because it does come with a little bit of packing grease on the rotors to keep them from rusting. Okay. So I'm going to take the caliper and I'm going to put a little bit of great brake grease, not great grease. God, I don't know if I can talk. for another jar and about out on this one. Right. Then 
and here are the pads. This is the back pad. a little bit on the tips of these pins. And they do thread into the actual uh, spindle. But there we go, we have the brake set up on the drop spindles right there. It is new rotors, new bearings, new uh, bearing seal or uh, dust seal on the back, whichever you want to call it. Pads, calipers, rotors, everything brand new on this. And that's going to conclude this video. The calipers did come with a copper washer, so we'll keep that with everything. But if you enjoyed the video, like this type of content, like I said, we're going to be doing more on the Colorado soon. I promise everybody because this is just the beginning. We do have the frame that we're going to be starting on in the next Colorado video. I am waiting on the control arms to get in before I do start that. But as soon as they come in, we will do a video on the uh, frame and start putting all this stuff together. But I do appreciate all the likes, the subscribes, and everything that everybody's doing. If you enjoy it, please hit them all. And until next time, y'all have a great day.